Hi, I'm David Fleming from Disciples Ignited, a ministry that's focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. Now, in this series, Learning to Pray Like Jesus, we've been looking at the Lord's Prayer from Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. So, to get started, let's look at that scripture together. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13 from the New International Version. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Now, what I want to share with you today is how we can use the Lord's Prayer as a template when we pray. Let me explain. Now, the Lord's Prayer is actually one prayer made up of five different sections, and the order that we pray them is very important. First of all, Jesus told us to always start our prayer with praise, and that's what we're doing when we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Now, you might want to use those exact words, but that's really not necessary. The point is, is you want to start your time of prayer with praise. First of all, praise the Lord for who he is. He's wise, he's wonderful, he's glorious, he's righteous, he's pure, he's holy. So praise the Lord for who he is, and then tell him thank you for all the things that he's done. Next, you want to ask the Lord for his kingdom to come to the earth. Basically, we're asking the Lord to reveal his presence when we say, your kingdom come, your will be done. We want Jesus to come with his kingdom to the earth. We want his kingdom to come to our cities. We want his kingdom to come to our homes. We want his kingdom to come to our families. We want his kingdom and his presence to fill our lives. That's what we're talking about when we say, your kingdom come, your will be done. Then we ask the Lord for his provision. Now, this is where most people start their prayer, but really we need to start with praise. And then the very next thing that the Lord says is important to him is for his kingdom to come to the earth and come to our lives. Now, when we pray for provision, that's exactly what Paul was talking about when he wrote Philippians chapter 4, 19. And my God will supply it. Every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So present that promise in God's word to the Lord in prayer. Say, Lord, this is what your word says, that you will supply every need of ours according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So, Lord, that's what I'm praying right now. And then after you pray for your provisions to be met, Come humbly for the Lord with faith and repentance and ask the Lord to forgive you for all your sins. Ask him for pardon. Now, remember, Matthew uses the word debts and Luke uses the word sins, but they're both referring to the same thing. So we're asking the Lord to pardon us. And lastly, ask the Lord for his protection and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Now, remember, it's not so important that you use the exact wording that's given to us in the Lord's Prayer. Instead, use the Lord's Prayer as a template, as a guide, so that you'll cover all this subject matter. Now, some days you're going to spend more time in a one section than the other. Like you might spend a lot of time in praise and then but make sure that you go through the other sections at least a little bit. And then sometimes I find myself, uh, after I praise the Lord for a season, then I'll begin to pray for his kingdom to come to the earth. And, and that's where I spend most of my time in prayer. And then other times I'll be praying more about my provisions. But I always try to at least cover every section in my devotional time with the Lord. You know, as you do this, you're going to find that your time in prayers will be going to become very fruitful, and it is going to blossom. Now, there's so much to learn about the Lord's Prayer, so I want you to be sure to join with me tomorrow, and we're going to really get involved in verse 13, where we're told to lead us not in temptation. So join me tomorrow, and we'll study it together.